So here is our Rebel Grill. Now I've already put these pieces on. Remember the two short ones goes on the side. One here, one on that corner. And the two long, longer brackets go in the center here. And all, obviously all the hardware is provided. Now I was able to put these lights in, in the center using the screws. They just sit right in there and use a screwdriver or a screw gun to put these in. All these lights are same, so it doesn't matter what position they go in. Um, so once you have your brackets on kind of like this with all the screws, now we can go ahead and put the letters. We can put the letters right in the front here. So our, our grill did come with uh, like a 3D style uh, RAM letters. So those will be going on. And of course the hardware for that is also provided using these screws. So we'll get those on the grill. So I have secured these letters to the backings that they come with. With two screws each on these. There's a ray A and here's the M. Again they are separated like this. And I will put those together using these smaller screws that they come with them. Now there are the longer screws. Those are used to, to mount the whole thing to the grill. We have all the letters secured with screws from the back of the grill here. So our grill does come with the, with the wiring for the lights. It's a two wire connection. Obviously your positive is red, negative is black. And the plugs on this end plugs to the back of the lights on the grill. And I'm going to use these uh, these circuit uh, expanders, what have you, to connect this to our turn signal circuit on our headlight. Now, you can do this on the driver's side or the passenger side. Now, to light up these lights that are in the grill here, on this Rebel grill, we will have to tap into our parking light circuit. So that means we'll have to remove a headlight, which I've already loosened up here. And this is how you can remove it. With the hood open, that will expose a 10 millimeter bolt here that holds the headlight. And if you look down right through here and between the grill and the headlight, there is also a, another 10 millimeter bolt that you can see there. It's kind of hard to see. But that's another bolt that holds a headlight there. So we'll also have to remove that. And if you look through your fender well, underneath there's a little access door here in the, in the liner itself. You can see this plastic pin is what holds this door. So once you pull that pin out, that'll give you access to the back of the headlight. Inside you will see this white locking clip. What needs to be done is that clip needs to be pushed up. It's a locking mechanism for the back of the headlight. So that white clip, if you can't do it by hand, you can stick a screwdriver on the edge of it. They give it a push or a pull and, and get that unlocked. Once you have the headlight out, the back of it, there are two plugs. This black one here on this side. You can remove the whole thing just like this. That's your turn signal and parking light bulb. So we'll go ahead and tap into our parking light circuit here. Let's figure out what wire is what. So with the parking lights on, I have a test light connected to the ground on the battery on that end and I'm tapping into the center circuit of this socket which is a white with a green stripe wire. That seems to be our parking light. Obviously the black on this end is a ground and then uh, the other wire which is white and light blue that is our turn signal. So to light up this grill here, we're going to be tapping into our parking light. That's how we want those lights to come on. So we will go ahead and use the black and the center wire to tie that in. So I was able to go ahead and make the connection here. So we tied our uh, power and ground wire into our turn signal circuit from the driver's side uh, behind the headlight. Uh, so at this point, we can go ahead and check the circuit. Looks like our lights are on. They do go on and off with our parking lights. I went ahead and routed the, the wiring behind here. There's the original horn wiring behind here. I just tied everything to that. And it's just simple as that. We'll go ahead and tape up our connection and the wires to the existing harness here. 
and we'll button everything up. Put the headlight back in. I have secured all the wiring behind the headlight and they come out right here, right along this harness in the center here, which goes to your horns and the hood latch. So I was able to secure the wire right to it using these plastic ties. And so I have rest of the wires right here that will plug right into the lights for the grill. The grill mounted back on the truck. Lights are plugged in. Again, they function with their parking lights. And I think it looks awesome with the letters and everything. I think it came out pretty good. My original plan was to paint this grill red to match the truck. Uh, I, I still may do that. But I think it looks fine in black the way it is for now. We'll see if that mine changes later on as, uh, as we get rest of the stuff done to this truck. I will leave some links in the description if you're looking to do this for your own truck. They do also sell them for the older ones uh, in this style. And I will, like I said, I will leave some part numbers in the, in the description. Thank you for watching.